magnitude of San Francisco. In fact, we're from uh, the very classroom that you're sitting in right now. I just want to give a shout out to Julie, myself. Good people. They deserve A's. That's right. Yellow. Blue. Red. Pink. Green. What comes to the imagination when you think of these colors? What cultural, cultural refer references do you associate with these colors? That's an excellent question. You see, me and Jeff were sitting in class one day trying to decide what we were going to do our project on when he presented a very intriguing question. What would you do if you saw a rainbow colored horse in the forest? What would you think? One, the owner was crazy out of his mind. Two, the horse was gay. Three, a bunch of kids just poured paint on him for laughs. You see, that's what's so intriguing about the question because if you were in a meadow and you had a horse colored rainbow with rainbow colors, what would you think about the horse? you'd probably assume that the horse was either magical or gay because our society has associated certain colors with certain stereotypes or a combination of colors. So that's what we want to work on here in this project is talking about stereotypes and colors. So sit back and relax and enjoy. Exactly. P.S. There will be no horses in this movie. Pink, it's my new obsession. I love color theory. Not as much as I do. Who's your teacher? Um, Tim Jonas. He's awesome. So, what do you think we should do our project on? I have no idea. Why don't we do something about color and stereotypes? I like that. Yeah, um, but what would we do? Like a sculpture or something? Um, wait. Let me tell Sugar Bums to pick me up at 8. We'll be done by 8, right? We should be. <coughs> what? Uh, Sugar Bun? Yeah, my honey bear. <laughs> oh, we totally went to the museum, the Museum of Modern Art, and saw the Frida paintings. It was amazing. Wow, okay. Uh, yeah, because, um, what, is it a good, like, date thing to go to? Because I got this date coming up, and, um... I was just wondering, did you have a good time with your boyfriend? I don't have a boyfriend. I went with my girlfriend. I'm a lesbian. Oh! Oh, okay! Um, oh, okay, I didn't mean to assume. I just thought that, um, you don't really look like a lesbian. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Oh, no, 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 I, um, nothing. You shouldn't stereotype. I'm as gay as the day is long. That's great! Really, really great. Besides, you of all people should know better. Why would I know better? Because you're a lesbian. Whoa, hey, wait. Well, why would you um why would you think that? I mean, look at what I'm wearing. A shirt? A pink shirt, a symbol of my people. The straight girls. I mean. Really? Yeah, yeah, pink, really. Pink, you say? Yeah. Pink. Pink, straight. Like, you mean the color of, oh, I don't know, vaginas? Hey, what a lesbian thing to say. Something I never would have thought of because I'm too busy thinking about how cool penises are. Um, you really think that's what straight girls think about? I know exactly that's what they think about because I'm one of them. Really? Uh, ve yes. Do you have a boyfriend? Abs yes, I do. And I'm so glad he asked me because he's on his way over for to help with color theory. Okay, good, great. I'm excited to meet him. You'll love him. Uh, you know what? I think I hear him. I'll go get him. Awesome. Hey! Hey, you! Who? Me? Yeah! Can you help me out with something? Help you with what? Uh, just something really cool. But I don't even know you. My name's Coco. I'm Jim. Nice to meet you. You want to help me out? Well, I guess it's to have some time to chill. Thanks, man. Hi. This is your boyfriend? Yep. This is my boyfriend. We're lovers. Man, woman, lovers. We love each other. Great. Well done. Thank you. Make out. Excuse me? If you're so straight, make out. You know, our, our lifestyle is not to be on display for you. 
Oh, really? Is a heterosexual too chicken to do something heterosexual? Are you calling me chicken? Yeah. Fine. Yeah, okay, I mean, I'm not, I don't, I, I just like the color pink. I'm totally, I'm totally gay. I told you. <laughs> uh, I just met him off the street. Can I go now? Yes, you can go. Yeah, <laughs> it's not. Ah, oh, Julie, wasn't that a funny sketch? That was awesome. I loved learning about, like, pink and the sketch, the pink sketch. I learned a lot. If you thought that was funny, our next subject will be even more funny. <laughs> Why is that? What are we going to be learning about now? We'll be learning about the Power Rangers, what their color represents, and the cultural impact they have. The Power Rangers, I thought we were po talking about the cultural impact of colors. All their colors represent a different kind of culture. For instance, let's start off with the leader of the Power Rangers, the Red Ranger. Don't you mean Rayad? Rayad? Yes, because that's the first pronunciation of red ever. It's actually Old English. Oh, I did not know that. Yes, that's true. Uh, you want to learn some more stuff about red? Sure, why not? Well, alright. First we'll have to turn on the TV and watch a game of the Redskins versus the Cowboys. Why is that? Because the Redskins are named after Native Americans. Because red is a condescending term towards Native Americans, insinuating that the color of their skin is literally, literally red. Wow, I did not know that, Julie. <laughs> it's you have true. Any more fun facts. <laughs> I don't know if they're fun, but um, yeah, the term "caught red-handed" is actually a term uh, in regards to Native Americans, insinuating that they like to steal. Also condescending. Wow. That was interesting. Those are subjects I did not know. Yeah, they were all yellow. I came along. Once in a yellow sun. Wait till you hear or hear about the yellow Power Ranger. Guess what she was? I have no idea. She was Asian, which is actually means that yellow is a use a negative connotation towards the towards Asian. Wait, uh, Julie, are you telling me that? Each color of the Power Ranger is represented by a color that has some kind of cultural impact? I am telling you that. Like, apparently, uh, the Power Rangers actually pretty blatantly um, show a pretty uh, good example of how our society associates certain colors with certain races and genders. In fact, guess, guess what the uh, black, uh, the color black um, Power Ranger was? Wait, don't tell me. Don't tell me, Julie. <laughs> I won't tell I'm going to guess. The Black Power Ranger was the uh, black person playing the Black Power Ranger. That's right. So, um... So if we get down to it, each color technically represents the race nearly. Yeah, I don't know why they did that, but see, the thing is, the history of that is pretty condescending. There's a lot of bad racial jokes about, about dark skin. There's a lot of bad racial jokes about, um... Yeah, there's a lot of bad cartoons of Asians, and they're, like, light yellow, so... That kind of sucks. Wow. So the Power Rangers were racist. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. That's just a little joke on my part. <laughs> so this is where we answer a lot of questions about colors. Um, we hope uh, that you got to learn a lot about the associations with colors and stereotypes. And the tie-in with the Power Rangers. That's that was my idea. <laughs> That's right. Uh, we'd like to give a shout-out to Tim Jonas. Our teacher. Always believed in us. <laughs> Alright, um, thank you for joining us. This is, I'm Julie. And I'm Jeffrey. And we're signing off. But don't forget, don't forget, but there might be a part two. Maybe. <laughs> Probably not. Okay, bye.